friends, welcome back to another story and snack time with Yummy Sprout. Today we're going to be reading one of my favorite books called Too Many Carrots, perfect to read in April. And we're going to be making a little snack called Carrot Salad. It's super easy to whip up really quick and it's really yummy. To make our snack, we need to start by putting a few ingredients into a small bowl for our carrot salad. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of lemon. So if you have a whole lemon, just cut off a little bit, about a quarter or a third. You won't need the entire lemon. We're going to take a zester and we're just going to zest the skin, just a little bit of that lemon skin. It actually has a ton of lemon flavor right in the skin. And if kids are helping with this part, you just have to make sure that you're being really careful not to touch your fingers to the zester because it's pretty sharp. So now that I have some lemon zest in the bottom of that bowl, I'm going to squeeze in the juice from this little bit of lemon. I'm going to try not to get any seeds in there. There we go. So now that I have some lemon zest and some lemon juice, I'm going to add in a little bit of honey. So I'm going to add in a tablespoon of honey right into the lemon juice, just like that. Get all that yummy, yummy honey. All right, that looks great. Then I'm going to put in just a little pinch of cinnamon. So just a little sprinkle, not a lot. And I'm going to take a fork and I'm just going to whisk up the lemon juice and the honey and the honey dissolves in that lemon juice really quickly to make you a nice little dressing for your carrot salad. This salad is kind of a mix between a savory and a sweet salad, but with the honey and the carrot, it's pretty sweet. It's nice and yummy and very good for you. So now we're going to take our carrot and I've already went ahead and peeled it. You might have a carrot that's already been peeled and that's perfect. And we're going to take a grater. I'm using a box grater here, but you can use any type of grater that you have. You could even use a food processor. And I'm just going to grate the carrot right into my bowl. And there's a really good chance that a lot of the carrots going to fly everywhere. And I'm going to make sure that I'm extra, extra careful that I don't let my fingers touch the grater either because it's also pretty sharp. All right, I finished grating my carrot. Got a little end left. You can grate an entire carrot into it or basically until you have your bowl um, kind of as full as you want it. And then I've got one more yummy ingredient we're going to add, and that's some raisins. I'm going to put in a nice heaping tablespoon of raisins. If you really love raisins, you could add a whole bunch. You could also add dried cranberries if you like those. And I'm just going to take my fork and I'm going to mix it all up together. And make sure I get that honey lemon sauce on all the carrot, all the raisins. There we go. And there we have our nice little yummy carrot salad. Perfect and delicious. Makes a great snack or a great addition to any lunch. And now that we've made our snack, we can go ahead and read our book. Today we are reading Too Many Carrots by Katie Hudson. And this book has wonderful illustrations. Rabbit loved carrots. He collected them wherever he went. Rabbit was proud of his collection and burned it away in his cozy hole. But Rabbit had a problem, a big problem. He couldn't sleep. His cozy hole was too crowded to live in. He's got carrots bursting out of his home everywhere. I need a place to sleep, Rabbit told Tortoise. You could share my house, said Tortoise. It looks cozy and snug, Rabbit said. Mm, maybe a little too snug for two, suggested Tortoise. Not at all, said Rabbit. He's even got uh-oh, oh dear, ouch, ah, crash. Uh-oh, it's a crack in the shell. Oh 
here. Well, perhaps we can stay in Bird's nest, said Rabbit. My nest is quite small, Rabbit said. Rabbit, said Bird. I'm sure we will all fit in, replied Rabbit. Rabbit hauled his carrots up the tree. Whoa, groaned Tortoise and Bird as their branch wobbled and swayed. And snapped. Crash! Oh, I'm so sorry, Bird. Now three of us don't have a place to sleep, said Rabbit. You can sleep in my house, offered Squirrel. Oh, thank you, Squirrel. How kind of you, said Rabbit. I don't think any more carrots will fit, said Squirrel. Just a few more, replied Rabbit. Uh-oh, whispered, whispered uh, Tortoise and Bird and Squirrel. Creak, crack, crash. Oh, no. His home burst open with too many carrots. Now four of us don't have anywhere to sleep, grumbled Squirrel. You can sleep in my house called Beaver. It has plenty of space. Great, I can bring even more carrots, Rabbit said with a smile. Well, with all your carrots, we can't fit inside, said Beaver, a bit bewildered. Just then the rain started. Tortoise shivered, bird whimpered, squirrel squeaked. And Beaver heard a terrible rumble. And his house collapsed. Oh no, my house, yelled Beaver. Oh no, my carrots, cried Rabbit. swept away. Crash! The friends groaned as they swept up onto the riverbank. Rabbit felt terrible. His friends were cold, tired, and hopeless, and it was all his fault. Even worse, Rabbit still had all of his carrots and his house, and that's when he realized there was only one thing to do. Share everything with his friends. After all, carrots weren't for collecting, they were for sharing. And look at that, they're all together, they're having a giant carrot party, and there's lots of different yummy stuff. It looks like carrot smoothies and soup and cupcakes, oh, delicious. And sharing made everything better. And there they are, cozy and snug with their carrot bedspread. Thank you so much for listening to our story and making our snack. I'm going to go ahead and taste our carrot salad that we made, see if we did a good job. So yummy. Bye. I'll see you guys again soon.